Manchester Airport is changing. location to see the aircraft. In fact, it's better. It's a better place to see the aircraft actually. So, this is where I usually am, on that hill here. And that is where I am near this. Right, you are right up close to the aircraft. I thought this was a great place to watch the planes take off and land for you all to see. And that was when, in Airport 5, I believe, was where I found pilot who actually waved back at the camera. So I thought, hmm, this could be interesting. What if I set out a competition? Which I did. And it was fun. And if you're still up to date with the competition, the Boars versus the Wavers, you all know that the Boers are winning 2-0. Now here's the thing. Ever since I moved here, this series of the number of views has been a mess. Because ever since I was in car park roof. My first ever episode of the Manchester Airport series, that had over 70 views. And that was until my last video, Manchester Airport 4. And ever since I moved here, the number of views I had was 11. Manchester Airport 5 had 11 views a month after I published it. And when I published Manchester Airport 6, they had 11 views within a week. Now, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. Is it me? Is it because you see the same old air airline and it just gets so boring that you just decide not to watch my airport series anymore? I just don't know. Or maybe it's me not being clear about the rules of 
the Boers versus the Wavers competition. Now I will join me later and I will tell you the rules of the Boers versus the Wavers competition. Right, okay. Here's the situation. Boers versus the Wavers competition is run by two halves. And there are four planes per half. Now, for example, this Ryanair plane that is on the tanned strip of the runway, those planes will not count because it's so far away to see us in this hill, which I just filmed earlier for either the pilots to wave at us or not. Now this grey tarmac runway is where planes sometimes taxi to either Terminal 1, Terminal 2 or Terminal 3. Like what this Thomas Cook plane is doing for example. Now what I do is I zoom into the cockpit now, the question will be is he a waver or a bore? Now at the moment I can't tell if he's a bore or a waver until I edit my video afterwards or footage should I, should I say until I edit the footage after that I film the planes travelling to that silver tarmac of the runway that's when I'll know whether it's a bore or a waver so I now have options a, I can continue doing the Boers versus Wavers now until the three months are up for this year, which I think we may know who could win this year. B, I could start the whole competition again next year. That's where the competition will really be exciting, I guess. But the Manchester Airport series is has struck an iceberg, basically. And it's all up to you guys, really. You need to say whether should I carry on the ser series or shall I end it? Because at the moment thinking about ending the Master Airport series. So now I will continue this month's Boars versus the Wavers.